This is just the first of our series of four programs on clothing for the handicapped. Oprah Roberson is our extension clothing and textile specialist here at Iowa State University, and she's going to give you some construction tips on just exactly how to make these clothes very easy for you to wear. We thought today that we'd talk about sport clothes, or maybe we can call them work clothes, too. I think they're both, Janet, or it could be. Uh, many people like pant-like material like you showed us and like we'll show some more of today. Uh, because uh, they can be made easy to get into and uh, uh, also I think we have to understand first of all that we need clothes that are real pretty on people clothes that they like and that are becoming to them and I think we can also show that in clothes for the handicapped we like um, fabric that uh, will stretch like you showed us that bends with your body goes with your body movement but we also like colors that are suitable for people Psychologically, it's very important that these people have clothes that are becoming to them and enough like, uh, like the other people wear that they're not discriminated, that they feel a part of any group and that clothes won't separate them from the group. So we uh, use a, a lot of psychology in clothes for the handicapped as we do for the rest of us. Now, let's see if the first pair of trousers that we have that I think are quite attractive on Pat Corey. Opal, do you want to tell us about the features on this? Well, Pat is wearing some uh, pant-like shorts that uh, really has some very fine features. Uh, I think she'll have to demonstrate with kind of to show us what they are, but first of all, the fabric is very desirable. It's strong, and as they bend and stoop and work in these garments, they'll last a long time. Now, she's pulling apart there at the waist what we call a pressure tape, which uh, is made of nylon coils and loops and they interlock that's the reason you probably heard a little bit of noise it does make a noise this is very strong uh, pressure tape and it's easy to get into your garments really all you do is stitch around it of course you have to stitch sometimes on a single piece of fabric and, and double the other one back for instance around the belt there but uh, one caution only in using this and uh, this is that you don't put too hot an iron on it. Nylon will melt with a high temperature of your iron, but this is the only precaution. Now you'll notice that um, Pat's uh, trousers are held up there with a waistband that's also fastened with Velcro. It is this strong. Even with body movement, it wouldn't pull apart. It's also pretty flat so that there's not any bulk around the waist. And I don't think uh, many of us like bulk around the waist. So this is an added feature there. It should be available in just about all the stores where you buy in Iowa. We've bought it here in Ames many times and used it in different kinds of ways. Now this garment too would be very helpful for those that are handicapped because it opens down the side as you saw her there. And all you do is pull this apart. You'll, you'll hear the noise. This sounds like ripping, doesn't it? But that doesn't matter. It's over in a minute and then all you do is just put it back together again. The only caution to have there um, on the outside of the legs, I think, is that they're a little bit sloped to go over the hips, but you can see that it's no difficulty for Pat to get that back together. Uh, th although these garments were not made especially for Pat, she does fit into them very well, so that you can imagine if a garment were made especially for you, uh, it would uh, just be a pretty handsome outfit to wear. Uh, these uh, trousers, again, uh, are useful for women who stoop and bend and who doesn't if we do anything at all. Uh, so uh, we would consider this a very fine way to get a garment together for a handicapped person. Now this is another pair just like the ones that Pat had on that I was showing in this instance. And these uh, are uh, very nicely made and these are some that are available to you through a catalog if you wish to purchase them or they're very easy to make yourself. I'd like to call your attention to the bar and the hook here. And you'll notice that these are quite large so that fingers that are not so nimble can handle these. They're also very strong. Uh, they're flat too, and no one wants bulk around the waist. So this meets all those criteria for a good closure here. Uh, this happens to be made adjustable here. There's two um, bars there that we can fasten into and decrease the size of that or enlarge it at least a half an inch. Now, when we get into a longer pant, sometimes this presents problems for people who are sitting in a wheelchair. And I think that Joyce Dye has an excellent 
idea for uh, something of this nature so that it's not tied around her knee. Yes, uh, this is an elastic gathered onto there. You'll see her use this uh, pant-like garment as she moves her knee. Uh, this uh, elastic uh, allows for shearing of these garments, which gives extra fullness over the knees and, of course, uh, takes it up as she moves. Now, all of the women like pant-like garments. I think most of us do for certain occasions. And this would give a handicapped person uh, a lot of comfort uh, as she uses her body there. Uh, this could be made at home, of course, too. And uh, oftentimes women put a shearing in by elastic threads or uh, the use of elastic in some way. And this is what has been done on this particular garment that Joyce is wearing. Now, if we can see the action pleats that are in the blouse as Joyce gets up <coughs> and turns around for us. These action pleats are uh, just make a garment wearable for a lot of people, particularly if their shoulders are a little rounded or if they're full in shoulders. And this gives her three or four more inches of ease across the back as she reaches. You'll also notice that they've been stitched on the edge, if you can see a very fine pressing there. Uh, this goes back into shape, and I think the women like this better because the garment looks neat and fitted this way. You'll also notice that the collars on these garments are very flat. There's nothing bulky or to come out and, and uh, cause a distortion there uh, as they lean over. This hugs the body, and they were made this way on purpose so that they would do that. Now, another idea that we maybe can show, since we show the shearing around the knee, and this is a, a very neat trick that here again was created by the United States Department of Agriculture. This pulls apart here uh, with just an, uh, it really it isn't an inset at all. It's an extension of the a fabric cut onto the side here. Uh, it goes back in shape because this has been stitched so well here on this. It makes a real crease here. Uh, but we do get an inch or two more of ease across the knees of this garment as this extension spreads uh, when the knee is uh, uh, bent. This is a very neat way. I think the women like for their clothes to look neat and fitted, even though they may need more stretch or give or ease in a garment and certain motions that they make. I think we also decided that this was a bit of a stretch fabric too, which would give you a little more movement. It is a bit of a stretch, and there's another feature here that I want to show you about that. They have put more stretch in the waistline, which is very important too as we stoop and bend. Uh, this uh, is elastic on the inside, but in order to stretch this fabric, this woven fabric with elastic, they put this waistband on a bias and you know that all fabrics will give on the bias. So this is the way we get the stretch in the band. This is a very clever way of getting this band on here and having it go back to shape. I think they can remember that uh, putting a, some type of a closing on the inseam is very desirable, and this is one way, of course, to get the trousers, the very slim line of the trousers, over a brace and make it very easy to put on. Pat is back again, and she can show you this technique. This is the zipper going up the inside of the uh, garment here. Rather, that's a Velcro, isn't it? We'll show you a zipper in a minute. Uh -huh. uh, and again, another way in which Velcro or pressure tape is used on these uh, pant-like garments. It can be used on other places, too, besides these. We just happen to be modeling these right now. Uh, Pat's uh, uh, trousers have a, has another extra feature over there, and that's a little pocket at the waistline. This can be removed as fast as around the belt. Uh, women like... Uh, pockets in their garments uh, to carry facial tissue and maybe just a little cosmetic or something like this, or notes to telephone with, all those things. And this little pocket is put on there. It can be removed, but we think it's very handy for the women. Now, Pat can just tug her trousers a little bit. The, the leotard she has underneath them kind of cling to them. Can you just, there we go, so we can smooth out the line. It's a very smooth-fitting fabric, but uh, over a pair of leotards, which we needed for demonstration <laughs> purposes, it bunched up a little bit on her. Now, let's show the zipper, because I think this is a very interesting technique. These zippers uh, come from the bottom of the trousers, as you see, all the way to the waistline. And this is very important, I think, for children especially who wear braces of any kind. Uh, then uh, they get into these, and if they need a little help, a child this age, uh, it doesn't take but just a second to zip this down. This also gives a child an opportunity to wear clothes like other people wear. Uh, and, and there's no feeling of discrimination here because he's different, you see. And if you are able to get the right kind of zipper, maybe you can even zip down from the top as well. 
This is a little unusual zipper, isn't it, to run on the track both ways? <laughs> but it's one that maybe they will be lucky enough to find. Then another idea, I think, for someone who uh, is on crutches or perhaps uses a cane is uh, a dress that gives you a great deal of freedom, yet uh, gives you more freedom than perhaps just a skirt would give you. These are culottes, and I suppose all of us have worn culottes once in a while in our lives. A very unusual one as, she tur as our model turns there. And it looks like a skirt. It could very well be worn for a skirt out on the street or somewhere like that, uh, even to an afternoon coffee, I would think. Uh, as she unbuttons this, though, you'll see that uh, these are culottes. Uh, I wish you could see the handsome uh, blue-green of these, uh, these outfits, how, how lovely the blouse and the skirt fits together there for color-wise. Uh, but th this does give the, the, the girls a chance to, well, participate in at least mild forms of athletics where they need a pant-like garment but want to look like a lady at times and wear a skirt. And this also, I may say, is rather nice for wheelchair sitting because you do not need to worry about continually pulling down your skirt, although you do have the fullness of a skirt and uh, over a brace, this would give you a great deal of movement as well. The jacket maybe would need to be shortened a little bit for wheelchair wear, but uh, certainly would be very nice if you had uh, enlarged shoulders. Here you're seeing a red, white, and blue outfit. You can't see the red binding on television, but it does make this uh, color combination a very fetching one here. Uh, a white uh, is especially you know, fun to have once in a while when we don't have to worry too much about the care of garments. Uh, we have some stretch in that fabric too in this white culottes, don't we? And uh, her four-button coat kind of uh, puts on the navy style for us. These are high fashion uh, garments that they're wearing, even though you and I have seen culottes many times. They're just because of the color and the particular styling around the neck uh, gives it a high fashion. Opal has compiled a lot of information that I know is going to be of use to you. Not only construction ideas, but how to remove spots and stains. There is a folder on self-help features for children. And there is also a little brochure on Velcro, the nylon pressure tape that we've been talking about in some of these clothes. And at the back, there is a listing of the home economists in their counties and if you need help with specific construction problems, of course, I think the best thing to do is go to the home economist in your county and ask her to help you. And she, I'm certain, will be glad to show you. Opal Roberson is our extension specialist in textiles here at Iowa State University. Joining us tomorrow, we'll be talking about children's clothes, clothes that are specifically designed for the handicapped.